Hi everyone. Today is Monday, August 24th, 2015. And I just wanted to show quickly some more signs that are showing that we're nearing the end of days and when the grievous head wound will happen of Revelation 13. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed. And then this beast out of the sea rises. It's even on magazine covers. See right here, Obama turning all of the USA over to this beast system with Russia, Germany, China all rising with our own secret government. This is called the beast out of the sea of Revelation 13 right here. See the nuclear football? And this is why the stocks are falling right now. You see the dollar crashing right there, the Federal Reserve. Well, we've had some more of these events happen right in front of us over the last few days. In this Indy car race, Justin Wilson is in a coma after a crash that happened in front of him. A car crashed in front of him, then a piece of the car struck him in the head. This may seem like, you know, like, what is this, Mark? This is just a coincidence. It's just an accident. These are the way that spiritual things work all around us. It doesn't, things don't happen in a perfect straight line. Things just happen out of, just like this. And then you will see more and more things that will corroborate it. We've had the grievous head wound. Does anybody know what the Indy car and the Indian represents? Well, in our channel, we do. This hangs in the Denver International Airport. See this Indian coming? This represents the second horseman of the apocalypse in World War. That's what he rides for. The, here is the door for Jesus Christ opening for the wise virgins. Our soul goes through. Your body is not going. You will receive your new immortal body. Your flesh and blood will not go to heaven. I've run into this situation for years that I mean, most people want their body in heaven. I'm telling you, it's not going. See the woman right here? This is the woman of the Bible taken away during an 11.5 earthquake, and you must have your oil to reach Jesus Christ. You must have the Lamb of God. See, we have our oil, castor oil. To go through the door. And then comes the guillotines. See the guillotine? And see this Indian coming. He has the oil for what's known as the foolish virgins. They will have to come see him and go to the guillotines to get in the door. See the cube of Islam and the satanic worship and the pyramid? Because he is the beast below the pyramid. See the body parts? The butcher. See him riding the bull. Indian. The Indy car. The grievous head wound. The Indy car. Justin. Just like justice and all. A head wound to the beast. And now they rise up. At the same time, we've had the stock market just going crazy down. See this right here? stock market has been plummeting. Well, those are just some of the things I wanted to show. And then we have this new Google Doodle today. Um, yeah. Doesn't that look like a nuclear missile? I know it's a surfboard. But that that's representing nukes coming, guys. World War III. Remember, what does this guy ride for? War. That's all he's about. The second horseman is about war. So we've had the head wound and everything. We need to keep watching the next few days. I mean, this stuff is just escalating like crazy all around us. War. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. War. Guillotines. Jesus' door, and then the foolish virgin's door. That's what that represents. And we are nearing the time of nuclear war. In the USA, prepare. Prepare yourself. Save water and food. Just last night at the same thing, they started the new series called Fear, The Walking Dead. Just like the dead beginning to rise. God have mercy on us all. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. And everybody pray that this man is healed. And, and for all the other people around the world that are going through all types of chaos and terrorism right now, we are nearing the end of days. God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.